She was my favorite of all the ladies. Love her, lay down your rest and take a load off the ease. Finer than the oldest wine. Baby, she never would be so on time. Singing, Hi there, everybody. How's it going? I'm Austin from Boss here at Sam Ash, and today we're going to go over the new Boss Acoustic Singer Pro Acoustic Amplifier. This is a great amplifier for acoustic guitar players and singers, as well as any other acoustic instrument multi-instrumentalists, mandolins, violins, dulcimers, electric diggery doos, any acoustic instrument with a pickup you can plug into here and get great loud acoustic tone. So first I'm going to start off with the first channel here. And so there's two channels on this, so I'll start with the mic channel. Uh, the mic channel is also a combo jack, so I can use a second instrument with this, which is really nice. Um, phantom power for high-powered microphones, such as condensers. Uh, I have a volume knob or an internal gain knob. Uh, I have bass, middle, treble, a three-band EQ here. Uh, next, I have my anti-feedback notch, which is really, really nice to have, and especially in certain environments that are more prone to feedback. And you can cut out any of the frequencies that are giving you that feedback. There's also a phase inversion switch here, which kind of acts as a uh, panic frequency uh, feedback button here. Uh, next, we have delay and echo for the, for the vocals. Uh, I'm going to use the GAF sw foot switch to turn this on. And it's going to have delay. delay. To get more of the delay sound, I just turn the knob up a little bit closer to the five weight and delay. So you can get some really nice, good delay quality stuff out of here. There's also an echo side. Echo! Echo! So you can get really, really nice echo sounds from, uh, from here on your vocals. Next is the reverb. Uh, the reverb's pretty sweet. It's got a really nice reverb tone. Let me turn that on for you. Here is the vocal reverb. Has a real nice trail to it. Next is the harmony section, and this is also foot switchable, which is really, really cool. There are three harmonies available to you. Uh, there is high, unison, and low, and these will correspond around not only the guitar chords that you're playing or the instrument chords that you're playing, but also the key that you're singing in or singing, singing and playing in. So uh, for this example, I'm just gonna give you a little taste of the high harmonies and how they work in E major. So the high harmony will give you approximately a third or a high harmony above the guitar chords and key that you're playing in. Next is a uh, unison, unison section, section here, which is really cool. So this is really good for, uh, for thickening up a nice blues sound. So here we go. <laughs> Woke up this morning, had a run around blues. She don't know my baby, but now hell yeah, yeah, she know me. So really good for a unison type of vocal sound. Next, I have a low harmony. And uh, for this one, I'm going to give you a couple of tastes of the chords. It's going to give you a, a harmony below your voice. So here we go. Ooh, da, 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 da. 
da 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 So really, really very useful for enhancing your vocal performances while playing live. Uh, onward to the guitar channel. The guitar channel is very unique because I have this acoustic resonance button, which is really cool. And normally piezo pickups only pick up the vibrations of the strings. It's not including the top or the wood of the guitar, which is what the acoustic resonance button will bring back into your tonal sound. So right now I have it off. Here's the tone. <laughs> Let me press that button once, and we are going to enhance the low resonant tones in the green mode here. So here we go. All right, the next, which is the yellow section, will be for the mid enhancement. And then lastly, the red mode will be for the high enhancements. Pretty sweet that I have those couple of options in order to enhance different types of guitars and different types of bodied woods. So next we have same thing as the guitar ch as the microphone channel. We have a uh, uh, input volume. We have a three band EQ here. Uh, anti feedback system working exactly the same way as the vocal fe anti feedback system, as well as a panic or phase inversion button. Uh, what's really cool about the guitar channel is that I also have chorus. And now uh, for with the GAFC foot switch here, I can use the left button to turn that on and off. So first I'm going to start with chorus type 1. And chorus type 1 is going to give you that basic rounded off, nice lush swelling chorus. So here we go. <laughs> All right, and as I turn the knob more to the right on the chorus section here, I get a secondary type of chorus, which is going to give you more of a modulation type of feel, so more detuning. <laughs> All right, this channel also includes its own reverb uh, knob control here, so that's really cool. And then lastly, on the amplifier we have on the amplifier face, we have a looper built in, and this looper works exactly like most of our other loopers. Wants to record, wants to play back, again to overdub, and then one more time pressing on it to jam. So here's a little playing example, and the looper also includes the vocals at the same time as well. So I can loop both vocals and guitar, or both channels at the same time. So here we go. So pretty cool that I have a built-in looper in there so that way I don't have to take any other pedals with me or anything, which is really nice. Um, here I have a tweeter attenuator, so I can turn the tweeter on and off in order to give me a, a different roll-off on the highs. Uh, lastly, I have a, a mute button, so that's why you couldn't hear me say mute, because I have a button. So. Nextly, on the back of the amplifier, this is, uh, this is a really good feature for those that are going out and playing larger performances. Uh, this includes two XLR DI outs on the back of it. And if you notice, next to each XLR out, you have a uh, switch there. And the switch will change the mixture of the output. So first mode is going to be the DI section. Next mode is going to be the post effects. So it's going to include all of the effects. And the DI is just straight raw audio. Lastly, we have a mixture between the guitar and the vocals out of those outputs. So we can have either discrete, plain channels. We can have both discrete, plain channels giving you all the effects and the harmonies. And then we also have two channels giving you a mixture of both in a full stereo image, which is really nice. Uh, also on the back, we also have a uh, USB input on it as well. So that can work to use as an audio interface. Nextly, we have the attachments for the GAFC foot switch and the FS7 to control my looper, my vocal harmonies, and my other effects on my channels. 
And that is pretty much it with the new Acoustic Singer Pro Amplifier. There is a smaller version of this one called the Acoustic Singer Live. Uh, no differences, just lower wattage. Uh, the Pro is 120 by watt amp, and the S Acoustic Singer Live is a 60 watt by powered amplifier. And that is the Bost Acoustic Singer Pro Amplifier. I'm Austin from Boss. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to check out the Acoustic Singer as well as other Boss products at Sam Ash. I looked at her and she wandered away. Astray and lonely, she always would rather stay. Dreaming of a world so free. Back in the day, it would never be the same.